Hi guys, I'm Sly Guy. <clears throat> and as soon as I start the video, my voice gets all weird. <clears throat> Welcome back to Amori. This is hopefully... Well, I guess not hopefully, because I enjoy playing this game, but this should be the last episode, maybe? I just got out of Humphrey. And this stuff is probably about to get real. Stuff is about to get real. I got out of Humphrey. I released my first video playthrough of Amori, because, like I said before, I usually do this live. And even though people said that they would watch my Amori video, it doesn't even have 30 views yet. And it's been out for a day. You guys are heckin' liars. Well, we'll just see how many people watch the finale of Amori. I have to go to Basil's house here. I do not know how much longer the game is here since I just got out of Humphrey. I didn't ask Midnight. Eternal banana. Oh, that bana when the banana is eternal, can I buy stuff from you? You're still here. Okay. I can still buy stuff from you. I got a crap ton. Oh. Oh, but you just sell garbage stuff. What the heck? Your stuff doesn't update? Bro! Small damage to all foes reduces their speed. I only have six of those. I don't know. I guess I'll just buy some freaking jacks. Bro, I got this much money. You don't got no good stuff for me to spend it on? Lame. Hi, Basil. see if like there's some things that are still like here real quick because I don't want to like miss anything and there's still bunnies music is very ominous right now so a sprout ball um, the heck is in here oh I can do something about this Take this as a gift from me. You got a dandelion. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, awesome. I mean, can't I jump on it too? Maybe I gotta be a. Maybe I gotta be a hero. Charm him, hero. Charm him. You got melon smoothie. Ah. Oh, these heckin' ghosts. Oh my gosh. I have to get these ghosts over to the party. Wow. Train station. Oh, nobody's here. I can see that you have killed 64 bunnies. Splendid. I see you destroyed more bunnies. Has 64 bunnies obliterated. Thank you so much, fellow bunny hater. You got a rabbit foot. Now go and destroy more bunnies. Alright. Guys, still lost bunnies destroyed. Lemonade. Hello, oh, sir, madam. It looks like we have run out of train pass, but we still have some lemonade left. Did you want to buy lemonade? What does lemonade do? Kill 75% juice, 75 juice. Oh, that's not bad. I mean, I got money. I got heckin' money for days. Give me 31 of those games. I actually never have been past here. Plum juice, that's good. Sparkler, I think I know what sparklers do. Stop right there, you can't pass without a... Well, that's a train pass. You must be the last passenger, so we've been waiting for you for a very long time. Well, that's an all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. See where this train takes me, I guess. Yeah, board the train. Board the heckin' train. Let's go. Let's board that train. Hmm. 
Well, this looks ominous. <coughs> Home is not here, but where is here? Why in the heck did my viewers not want me to go for the train? <laughs> it... Hi. How are you doing? What are ya? <laughs> wow, everybody's afraid. Everybody's afraid, and Amori's like, eh, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, like, how far I progressed here. Oh, dang it. I'm the only one that can attack. Hey, let me throw my jacks at it then. If you, I think I think my boys can throw jacks. Yeah, just throw jacks on it, friendos. Sly. That's my real name. That's that's a real world name. Sly, I'm sorry. What the heck was that? Why would nobody want me to go through <laughs> the train to see that? What? Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. And please ride with us again. Ah. What? Toast? But that means everybody here is, like, technically dead, right? Everybody's toasted. What the heck? Orange Oasis. on over here. Orange Oasis. Well, I really hope there isn't like a big old side quest and everything because I really don't feel like doing that. Introduction to Orange Oasis. It's a big apple. I wonder what that's supposed to represent. Aha! 
Ah! At last, I'm free! Take this, it's a gift from me! They like to give me dandelions. What is this? This is a watermelon. Wishbone. What does a wishbone do? A sand sculpture of a peculiar old geezer. If anybody says this is me, I'm timing you out next string you're in. Oh, Dana, there's enemies here. What am I looking at? Pancake bunny and milkshake bunny? Are left because I doubt there's no way I'm gonna have another one of these faces. What the heck is that face? I mean, it kind of looks like you. These hollow spaces I mark in them, I have hidden my most precious belongings. Yes, I smash my face to remember, but lightly. Any harder and it would break. Smash any harder and it would break. Wait. No heckin' way! Oh my gosh, so the faces actually mean something? Holy crap, there's so many faces! What is this? Yeah, stare at it intently. Rain a town? What? Ah! It is raining too hard. It is making us slightly uncomfortable. There is a mystical valve nearby which controls our rain farm, but only the chosen one is able to turn it. No one houses me are doomed to be slightly uncomfortable forever. Oh no. I don't want you to be slightly uncomfortable. The rain is slightly lighter now. Alright, turn to right to make it light. Alright, is it better now? Is it better now? The rain has been adjusted. Neat. Thank you, chosen one. We will remember your act of kindness forever. Was that child? You want to go with them? Are you sure? If that is your wish, chosen one, this child wishes to join you on your quest. She is yours now. Please take good care of her. What? I got a veggie kid? Excuse me? <laughs> the heck am I supposed to do with a veggie kid? A veggie, veggie kid. Heart plus 15, juice plus 15. Ooh. That sounds like something for a little boy hero. Nope, not tools. Let's see, veggie kid. Oh, man. The onion ring is already superior than the veggie kid, man. Well, I did- I still did a good deed, and I'm happy about it. Howdy ho, youngins. Y'all mind doing me a favor? I need a scratch an itch for me. It's on my bottom, so I can't really get to it. Uh, it's just absolutely killing me. Da 
Dino's dig. Hmm. I cannot run in here, which is annoying. I'm one dollar, dino dollar shy from a silver spoon. Oh no. Dino dollar. Hey there, little adventurers. Welcome to Dino's Dig. I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Dig. Uh, him, are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you've come to the right place. Here at Dino's Dig, we have created the ultimate treasure on an adventure, which you can experience from a low price of 100 clans. Are you ready to join the fun and excitement of digging for treasure? Sure. Dino Tastic. Alright, kiddos, first things first, here at Dino's Dig, we dig with spoons. Since you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. You got a potato spoon. Choose which spoon you would like to use, a potato spoon. There you go, right on, brother. You are a quick learner, aren't you? In our special digs at the Boot Pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasures from all over the universe. And the best part is you get to keep any penny pie. That's a dino guarantee! Let me tell you about our dig site. The food pyramid has four levels. You always sound the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks a pyramid gate to the next level. The higher you go, the better the treasure will be. Now, there, here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of uses before it breaks. For example, potato spoons will break after you dig five times. If your spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends. The pyramid gates close, and we will call you back to the entrance. You understand everything I said so far? Yes. Dino Tastic! Now it's time for our dino disclaimer. Treasure isn't the only thing you'll find in the food here, but during the around you might find some troublesome critters. Let the fall fight. We aren't liable for any damage to you or your property during the adventure you dig. If your critter knocks you out during battle, it'll be a real game over. Well, that's pretty much it. All that's left for you to do is up these stairs, smell the sweet food pyramid air, and start digging. Have a dino tastic adventure. Okay. Well, I doubt. Is that a hamburger bunny? Oh my gosh. Bun bunny. Alright, there we go. A lot of experience for that. Kelgary level 35? Holy crap, 2000? Um. I got bread. I got fries. You found a Hector? Oh, Hector, could it be? It's really you? Oh wait, what? Come on, Hector, back into my pocket you go. It'll be just like old times. Ah, uh, Cal, my old friend, I am so sorry. I'm afraid things have changed and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I have a family now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait! Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., I... I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go on and join him, Hector Jr., into his pocket. <laughs> you got Hector Jr. Yeah, just like that, Sniff. I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Kel. Hector Jr., you'll be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. I hope that the next time we meet, you'll have floors into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this time, alright? I won't, I promise. Wow, I heckin' love that. <laughs> um, so do I, like, have Hector, Hector Jr.? No, I don't. Um, what am I using right now? I'm using, I don't know, I'm using a beach ball. Yeah, the beach ball still seems like the best. Is it a charm? 
Hector Jr. Um, attack and defense, but my speed and luck go down. Can talk, but it's very shy. Stats increase with more energy. Um, I mean, that makes me a whole lot slower, though. And, like, slightly bigger. I'm sorry, Hector Jr., man. I feel, I feel like the rabbit foot's just the way to go. You'll just, you'll just stay with me, Hector Jr. What is this? SS Snake. Okay. I don't know what, I don't get the pun here. Enemies are actually pretty tough here. Where would the heckin' key be then? I feel like it has to be like a dino dollar. Chocolate. And another spoon bites the dust. <coughs> Big spoon down, that's game over. Alright, well I wanna try again. I wanna try that again. Did you find a lot of cool treasures? I hope you enjoyed your dino tastic adventure. Well, at least I found Hector. Alright, and how much do you... Oh, wait! That's the guy! Welcome to the dino shop. The corner of my logger says you have a total of two dino dollars. If you want to buy a spoon, just point to the one and I'll help you out. This is the guy. This is the guy that wants to get switched. You stress. Goots bottom. Ah, much better. Okay, Scoots bottom has been scratched. Alright, I'm assuming he has to give me something, right? Hey, you must be because you scratched my itch. What a huge relief. Here, take this. We actually have too many of these things. Which will come in handy one way or another. I got a hard hat. Stay safe, kids. I really can't thank you enough. A dino dollar. Ooh, pyramid key. Damn. Do I use a pyramid key now or later? Nah, I don't want to fight the fun bunny, but fun bunny is in the way. Okay, well maybe it just stays open since I did it. Is that an enemy? Eh? Where am I? Who are you? Guess not. Red fruit juice. I have another spoon by the dust. Alright, well, do I lose the pyramid key or nah? Oh, I have to get the pyramid. Oh my gosh, but does the pyramid key stay in the same spot? Or is it random? Ancient code? The heck is that? supposed to mean? Red. Yo! Oh, the pyramid key! Yo, we got the pyramid key already! Yes! Okay! 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 <laughs> Darn, that guy got mad. Alright, boom. So, I should have... ...the pyramid key, right? I'm assuming that's like an important item. Yes, alright. Okay, I'm gonna save now again. Since I got the pyramid key now, I'm gonna save again. So now I can just restart every time I don't find a heckin' thing like a dingus. I also heal myself this time. One hour in, and I'm still doing a dino. <laughs> oh, 
I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm still on two days left, though. Like, I'm not even on, like... One day left still, so I don't know, like, how much longer is this game? But I guess we'll see. Alright, I got the Silver Spoon, I got the Pyramid Key. I got this. I got this, gamers. So there might actually be one more episode for this as I'm taking so long with this side stuff. Which I apologize for, but I want to experience this. We're using that silver spoon. Alright, going. Bam! First floor unlocked. First floor unlocked. The tomato. What are you? Oh, you're just literally just called Ginger. Oh my gosh, did Hero only do four heckin' damage to the ginger? Oh my gosh! This ginger is heckin' beefy! Hero! Oh my gosh, it does so much damage too! It's a menace! Holy crap, those things are heckin' vicious. Oh my gosh, I found the Pyramid Key my second hacking thing here. Wow. Alright, let's go! Oh! What the heck? What the heck are these things? They look so disgusting! I think I actually gotta kill these things from what I remember. Why are these just straight up real chicken PNGs? What? Oh. <laughs> Rabbit question mark? What the heck is this? Why are these just straight up PNGs? <laughs> Wait, what, what did the rabbit do to me that made Omori sad? Bro, Hero is a little wimpy right now, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, I did like no damage to it, I'm just noticing here. Okay, I think I got a power hit it. How oh, this thing so beefy. Just throw a jack at it. still has a lot of health.
Oh my gosh, the Mori is just miserable now. Oh my gosh. What the heck is a Mori? What is wrong with your eyes? No! I'm sorry, a Mori this rabbit is making you feel so miserable. Six. Oh my gosh, another rabbit ran into me. 5,000 XP! Dang. Alright, so my treasure chest has like something to do here. Dig here? Oh, it's, yeah, it's literally, man, I don't even need this! I looked up a chicken thing and apparently you can get, like, a weapon called the chicken ball. But it literally only works if the thing doesn't run away for the first time. Man, how many digs do I have? There we go. Finally. Alright, well, I pretty much found everything there. Alright. Alright, I completed that. I mean, I gained some experience, too, like, my characters are almost to level four in the 40s, which is, uh, pretty rad. I might try the chicken thing in another save file, we'll see. Um, there's one more thing... ...that I did not do yet. How do I get there? How do I get there? Over here? What the heck was that? This place. Alright, so here... The ancient code. This is where the ancient code did. I would never know this if I didn't heck and look this up. But if we look at this ancient code here, one, two, three, four. So I'm pretty sure it's literally just telling me I gotta boom, 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 boom. And look at that. Let's go down. And I can swim. So you have to get to a point where you can swim now. Whoa. Do not touch. Do you want to poke the big toast? Yes. Oh ho. Oh ho. Oh ho. Did not expect that. Pleh! Ew! What is all this? This? This is all-purpose flour. A chew. Urgh, my nose is all itchy. Stop right there, no gooders, actual mole. Can't y'all read directions? Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. My family and I have been guarding this crypt's treasure for generations, but guarding it ain't easy because of people like you. I may be over frail now, and my asset may not be so good, and I might be the only one left. But I spent a lot of time doing this, and I've gotten real good at guarding, I reckon. I can't remember what I'm guarding, but it's probably whatever is hidden in that important looking safe in the left corner of a room. Anyway, I'm gonna have to off so you all the way to leave peacefully. Between the actual mole and all, I can dig my way out of here in three seconds flat. There ain't nothing special about this place. But how about you all save some time and trouble get you out of here? Uh, no. You wanna stay and enjoy the place? Alright, if you insist, feel free to look around and all. There's someone in the circle maybe, oh, but it still works like a charm. But no funny business or else. What?
Oh, I didn't think about opening up that safe. There's definitely no combination or anything like that around these parts. Uh... Oh, wait. How do I know the safe combination? The perfect spot for a sacrifice. Alright. Do you want to pick up the loaf? Yes. You want to sacrifice the loaf? Yes. Oh no! What are these things? Sesame and sliced sourdough. Oh, um, it's just literally all bread. I don't know if these like enemies are supposed to be tough or not. We'll see. Oh, I actually hit all three of them. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, we're not hard. Alright. You gotta call on yourself, Hero. You're the only one that took a pound. Alright, these enemies are easy. Seven. Two. Sacrifice the spaghetti. What did I make there? Oh, look at how angry that noodle is. Copy pasta. Creepy pasta. Yes! have numbers? Or not? Or what 
What am I looking at? Ho oh ho! Papa Chip comes of good tidings for you! Well, as a son of goodwill, Papa Chip will give you something Papa Chip knows you will enjoy! Papa Chip gave you bread. Hey! Alright, finally a good guy. Oh. Hello? So what are you doing here? I'm Papa Chip! Alright, hello Papa Chip. Papa Chip sees you eyeing that plate of oatmeal cookies. Papa Chip warns you now, for your own sake, don't do it. Okay... Well, 7201. 7... 2... 0... 1. Oh, shoot. Now I have to pick up the cookies. I'm picking up the oatmeal cookies, Papa Chip. I am a picking them up. Oh, you've done it now. Oh, don't worry, you've done it now. Papa Chip can't look. Yes, yeah, sacrifice the oatmeal cookies. Chip. Oh no. Whoa. Is this a boss? Doesn't sound like a boss. Mamma mia! Is... Is it getting hot in here, no? Yeah, those cookies attacks don't really do much damage, I gotta be honest. And we're at 10, so... that energy. <laughs> Boom. Molto Trista. Uh, Tristy, I don't know what the heck that means. <laughs> A 10,000 XP, 1500 clams.
see that. Hmm, Papa Chip is supposed to warn you of a danger as nefarious chip, but it seems that nefarious chip was no match for you. I suppose Papa Chip is just useless then. Yeah, we too good. Alright. Let's give us some snacks. Forest Bunny, I'm sorry, but you gotta be sacrificed. <laughs> it just has a little cupcake. <laughs> yeah, cupcake, yeah! Cupcake Bunny is not hilarious, if I remember correctly, are an easy kill. Oh, yeah, yeah, only two hits. Cherry Soda. <laughs> Please tell me the cat's gonna be, uh, get, just get a little cupcake, cupcake on him. Aren't afraid of this guy? Why did a cat turn into a hush puppy? How many heckin' hush puppies are there? I mean, I could we just keep on. I mean, they only take two hits, I guess. Three hits, pretty much. Why are there so many of them? They're just so easy to kill. Why do there have to be this many of them? I don't think the morning has to attack again. Oh, now Kel's feeling afraid. Alright, well, I think this is the last hush puppy, hopefully. and happy again. Alright, we got the safe now. We got seven. Two. Zero. One. Nine. Six. Nine. Do, 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 do. We found a recipe for disaster. Take it. Yeah. Recipe for a disaster. Ingredient. Wait. Wait. Um. Mole Man? There may be no turning back? 
one in tarnation. A portal has been opened. Wait, where? Oh, here? Okay. Let's go! Move my mic a little closer to myself. I don't know why I just felt like doing that. Uh. I had no reacting time. I died? I had no heckin' reacting time for that. What? Bro, I just heckin' died. Why am I over here? <laughs> Amori, you saved me! Thank you, I thought I was toast for sure. Oh, well, at least I get free life jam. Was I supposed to die? Ah, oh, where am I? Oh, hey guys, what I miss? You use life jam on a hero. Urf, welcome back, hero. How are you feeling? I feel dizzy. Whoa, whoa, hey, where are we? I don't know, maybe a place where all abandoned toast goes. Well, we sure as heck aren't toast anymore. Let's hurry and find a way out of here. Okay. So maybe I was supposed to die then. Brevin. What's in here? Bread. Waffle. We were born to make bread forever, day in and day out. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. It's a hard life and it's not very rewarding, but this is all we have. We just have to be grateful, right, Biscuit? Oh ho, guess right, brother. This has always been our life, trapped in an endless circle of bread. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! So this is where the whaling was coming from? Ah, the bread! It has spoken! I knew that our bread would come back to haunt us eventually. Come, Biscuit, we must destroy them before they destroy us first. Wait a sec, we're not... Oh-ho! 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 I mean... The female kind of cute. Well, so this is obviously a boss, so I'm gonna make myself sad. Aubrey's gonna power hit the unbred twins. Little ricochet. And a hero will dazzle. Gosh, I love this OST. Let's power hit them again. We'll ricochet them. And hero. Reduce our speed, hero. That, that'll be helpful. Fresh bread, fresh bread. Every day it's fresh bread. Oh, unbred twins became sick. No! Wait, unbred twins can no longer become happy or angry. What? Well, why? Darn it! 
I'm heckin' sad, though. Heckin' jerks. sourdough if I want to, but I feel like that's just a waste. Stop picking on Aubrey! <sighs> so annoying. You gotta use your homemade jams. still pick on Aubrey after she just came back to life. These heckers. And now I can't heck in sad poem anymore, which is annoying. I want you to uh, ricochet. Fast through Aubrey again. Running low on the juice here.
Alright, well, at least it's not Aubrey this time. We're running low on everything. We have almost nothing left. Twins became miserable. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is kind of sad. Kind of sad, not gonna lie. They're almost dead. Hell, I need you. To do nothing. I just need you to attack a little faster than you. Wait. Oh, wait, we didn't. Wait, why aren't we doing damage? Why don't we do damage? Why was no damage done? Okay, got some annoying snack. I need some juice then. All friends, six use. We got a lot of those, and you can just fast food Aubrey. Yes. Release energy. All right, this is probably the last. This is probably the last hit run. There's no way release energy is gonna do no damage, right? It did no damage to him! What's happening? Huh? What? Excuse me? How did that not do anything? have been depleted. What will we do without ingredients? Ooh. I found bread. Man, I gained 10,000 clams from that? Jeez! Amori's level 40! Oh my gosh. Huff, huff. We're all out of juice. It seems that this is the end for us, Biscuit. Oh, wait! We're not bread! We're kids just like you! You, you mean you're not here to destroy us? Of course not. We would never attack unprovoked. You hear that, Biscuit? We're saved. Now it's back to bacon. Fresh bread, fresh bread, fresh bread. Oh. Hey, so how long have you guys been baking bread here? Don't you want to go outside and get some fresh air? Oh, if only that were possible. We've been trapped here since the inception of the universe. Oh, that sounds like a pretty long time. I think you both deserve a break. What? That's preposterous. What meaning do our lives have if we do not spend in baking bread? Oh-ho. Uh -huh. If we were to leave our bread-making stations, what would we do with ourselves? This is the only life we know. And yet, my morbid curiosity overwhelms me. That portal up there is able to transport us out of this place. We've used it countless times to fulfill our bread summons, but we have never seen the other side for ourselves. Well, we have, and let me tell you, it's a big awesome world out there. I think it's about time that you guys start exploring new possibilities. Hmm, tempting. Well, what do you think, Biscuit? Oh, uh -huh. mm hmm, I'm listening. Mm hmm, yes, but, ah, that is true. All right, we've changed our minds. We want to leave. This place sucks. <laughs> Biscuit, we've always been afraid to use the portal, but perhaps it's time for change. Come on, brother. Let's experience our first taste of freedom. Ooh, the ladder. <laughs> yeah, free. Holy kitchen. Is that all it says? Holy kitchen. Okay. Let's go out too. 
I hope that doesn't kill him or anything. Where are they? We just got a watermelon up in here. Bread phones? Heck is a bread phone. <laughs> important. Is it an important item? The bread phone? Is it a toy? Bread phone. It is not a toy, so it has to be like an equipped or something. Red phone. Okay, and it has to be like an equipable then. It has to be like a weapon then? Maybe a hero can use it. What the where where is this bread phone at? Oh, bread phones. Two rolls of bread, heart plus ten, defense plus five, life jam will hear more hearts when used in battle. Okay, two rolls of bread, heart plus ten, defense plus five, life jam will hear more hearts when used in battle. Does that only work for the person with the bread phones? I mean, I don't really have- man, all that for that! You have a worried look in your eyes. I can tell a problem greatly ails you. Let me tell you, stupid child, when you know that an arduous and difficult future lies ahead, all you need is hope. Be hopeful of yourself and be hopeful of the future. Yes, anything is possible if you believe. And, while all spells, know that at least I will believe in you, alright? Yes. Excellent. Please accept this teaching as a gift. Hero learned of spicy food. Wait, what? Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. Wait, Hero actually what? Wait, spicy food? Damages a foe and makes them angry? Cost 15? Oh my gosh, Hero actually has an attack and move! <laughs> Man, but making them angry is like, not good. I want to make foes happy with Dazzle. It sucks that it makes them angry, because that doesn't really combo with Amori. Darn, but it's actually a move... It actually heckin' he actually has a damage in move! Crazy! Alright, I might... Get rid of guard for this. Because it actually does damage. I want to know how much damage it does. Uh, so what's up here? I've never been up here yet. Hopefully just like some items, because I don't really feel like... Oh, what are you? Greetings! Thank you for talking to me. You got a hundred clams. Ah. <laughs> Wee Cactus. I'm glad talking to you, Wee Cactus. Oh, hey, it's this place. You guys want to get in? Mr. Jocelyn told me the password once so I could complete one of his errands. I love these guys. They're loads of fun. What's the password? Oh, I'm assuming I gotta be Hero then. What's the password? Hey, Hope, it's me, Hero. The password is... Hero, my man. Welcome, welcome. Doors unlocked. Come right on in. Okay. Do you want to lounge with your friends? Heck yeah! Why is Kel sitting on a box? Ah. Just enjoying good old drinks together. Kid-friendly drinks, obviously. Is Aubrey gonna do anything with Amori? I wanna see Aubrey and Amori do something. It just looks like Kel and Hero are doing things. So why is Kel just sitting on a box? Okay. 
Everyone gained five juice. Rad. Construction joke. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Hey, 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 that joke's pretty funny. Hey! Ah, I feel a little better now. Yeah! What is that? That looks like a sword. Thanks for cheering me up, travelers. Here's a reward for your valiant efforts. This is an ancient weapon of indescribable power. Only a true hero is able to wield it. Uh, the gods are calling for me. I'm afraid it's time to take my leave. Our time together was short, but it has been a mostly pleasurable experience. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. So long, travelers. It's been fun. You got the LOL sword. <laughs> okay, so who can hold that? I mean, maybe Amora can actually hold it. No. No, we cannot. Can a hero hold it then? The LOL sword. <laughs> XD. Juice goes down, but his attack goes up. <laughs> it just says LOL sword XD. I mean, that attack increase is actually pretty nice. But still, like, hero needs that juice. I mean, hero actually has, like, a lot of juice. Like, I've never really had a problem with hero, like, running out of juice. So maybe I can make his attack power go up. Would I want to do that? Cause like, 20 less juice isn't that bad. That's just like one attack? Ah, oh, we gotta give him the LOL Sword XD. Aha, right here. Hmm, what to read, what to read. Sigh, I've read every book on this shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. Whoa, where'd you come from? You gave an interesting book to Demi. Wow, this book sure is interesting. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, hmm. Okay. And how long is it going to take for you to flip those pages, my friend? Oh, sorry, I must have zoned out for a moment there. Thank you for showing me this interesting book. I'll have to give you something in return. Let's see here. How about this one? Here you go. This book is a collection of some of the saddest poems ever written. Please enjoy it. You got a deep poetry book. Now, where was I? Yeah, I wonder what the deep poetry book is going to do. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Alright. Equipped. Deep poetry book. Touches the soul deeply, wearer starts sad in battle. Wait, but I already have something that starts me- that makes me start sad in battle. I got homework. Right? Homework. The bane of every child's existence. Where it starts sad- Are you serious? Are you serious? It doesn't even do anything extra besides- What? There's two items that does the same heckin' thing! Wow, that's heckin' lame. Um, I mean, there's still things I haven't done yet, but I, I think it's about time we finally, uh, get to Basil. <laughs> and these, these are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small, not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it in another way, I guess I would say that they're comfortable. Simple, modest, and perfect. Just like Sly. And he is the real name of Sly. He didn't use a Mori, he just used Sly. I probably should have just kept this guy's name as the regular character instead of naming him after myself. Oh, 
let me know in the comments if your if you guys' flowers died. And let me know like times when I could have actually watered them because I was in totally different heckin' worlds like a, a lot of the time. Alright. Let's do this. And man, these, uh, these, a lot of dead-looking trees over here. I don't remember Basil's house being, having so many dead heckin' trees up in here, huh? Basil's house is looking real heckin' nice. Definitely not ominous in any way, shape, or form. I still love it. I got, like, just Aubrey's background to this. So it's, like, all the pink stuff and the bunnies and the Mr. Eggplant. Uh, Amori, I'm scared. Let's, let's go back. We ain't going back. We going in. We going in. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yes. Let's do it. This looks horrible. <laughs> Is this just gonna repeat itself? Kinda looks like it's just repeating itself. Yeah, it's just repeating itself. Mari. Why is Mari in this? I feel like Mari doesn't have anything to do do with like the evil stuff. Like I feel like that's just I feel like that's Basil. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's Mari. Maybe it's Mari. But I don't know. I feel like Mari doesn't have anything to do with the bad stuff. I feel like Basil is like the sus one. A black door casts a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? Yeah, let's just do nothing. Let's just chill here. Alright, let's open the door. Open the door. Huh, there's nothing up. <laughs> Never mind. Welcome to Black Space. Yep, yeah, we know. That is a lot of keys. That is a lot of keys. You saying I need to collect all those keys or do I have those keys already? About two and a half hours into this recording, uh, is that a save station? Is that a save station? Mari's picnic basket, what I like to save. 
Yes. And I think I'm gonna call this an episode here, guys. I'm kinda sorry that I'm leaving you hanging like this, and I'm... Like, your guys like, oh, why did you just do all the side quest junk? I'm sorry, I wanna do the side quest junk. And... Next episode should be the last one. Should be, right? It should be, I don't know. Let, let me know in the comments down below, like, how much longer this game is. Um, really curious, but I, f I feel like it was cool to do all of the, like, side quest junk and stuff. I didn't really get much out of it, I feel like. But, uh, it's still, like, a lot of cute interactions and stuff. Um, the train thing, the slam sorry thing is, like, a real big mystery to me. I wonder what that's about. But anyways, I'm calling an episode here, guys. Watch the video. Watch the video, heckin' liars. You said you were watching videos if I uploaded them as videos. Watch them. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Heckin' do it. Shout out to all the uh, alpha members. Italian snob, Al Morales, and the Fox Hamlet's Vic Z for being alpha members of the channel. Shout out to the rest of the beta members of the channel. And see you guys in another stream or episode. I'm Sly Guy. This is bye-bye.